Hello and welcome to another edition of Senator Shope's Snapshot of the Week. We're back here at the state capitol in Phoenix and we're looking forward to the next couple of months and what they offer and we'll be coming to you a little bit more often now that we're uh, kind of getting back in the groove and looking forward to the next session. First off, we want to take it back a little bit to the previous session and all those bills that we passed uh, in that session, they all have a, what's known as a general effective date. And that is whenever they actually truly become law. So we pass something in the Senate, the House passes it, we send it on up to the governor, he signs it. We know it's gonna become law, but there is a waiting period uh, of after the session ends, which ended in late June this year, and that date coming up for all of the new laws to take effect unless they have a prescribed later date. Confusing, I know. We're all back in like eighth grade uh, American civics class right now, things like that. But this year's is September 24th. So I've had a lot of people reach out to me about different bills. Uh, think of, I have some motor and, motorcycle enthusiasts. They've been wanting to know about the lane splitting, for example. September 24th is the general effective date. That's the date that that bill becomes law uh, officially. Uh, so any number of the other bills that we pass, kind of uh, just think of that September 24th date as being the day that everything goes live. Um, you know, we just got into September and obviously thinking of, of that month, it's hard not to go through it uh, without thinking of the events of 9-11. We commemorated that uh, this past Sunday uh, in all over the country, whether it was in New York City and in Washington and in Pennsylvania or pretty much every NFL stadium around the country I saw had some sort of a ceremony prior to the game. Uh, happened to be at the Cardinals game uh, this past week and much of the same a ceremony prior to. I was in high school when it happened. I can still remember uh, what that morning felt like and how united this country was after uh, that of horrible atrocity. And hopefully someday without an atrocity, we can get that unification back here in the United States. Uh, something that we are plenty unified in Legislative District 8, however, is the I-10 widening. And last uh, evening, uh, we had our uh, first public hearing uh, hosted by the Arizona Department of Transportation in Casa Grande uh, about I-10 widening and what that project will look like going forward. It is a very, uh, very good presentation. If you've not had a chance yet, I encourage you to go to YouTube and look up the Arizona Department of Transportation's uh, page on YouTube and watch the flyover video. It takes about 20 minutes, but they go through each phase of the construction project and each uh, uh, portion of it that will be done. They also have a website set up at the Arizona Department of Transportation's uh, webpage that I encourage you to take a look at as well. And they will be posting all the upcoming information and public hearings and things like that for you to participate in. So please do so. Uh, we had about 40 people in attendance the other, other night. Uh, Representative Martinez and I were on hand to offer our support uh, for that project going forward. We are kind of in the lull between the primary election day and the general election day, so this is my opportunity to go ahead and remind you that the last day to register to vote is October the 11th if you wish to participate in this November's election. Uh, folks all across the world uh, wish that they were able to have that right to vote just like we do here in the United States. And so many have joined us and uh, loving that right to vote, having the ability to choose your leadership. I encourage you, if you care about the direction of your city, your county, your state, and your country, please, if you have not registered or if you've recently moved, even more importantly, if you've recently moved and you haven't changed your driver's license yet, I encourage you to go ahead and take that first step. It's as easy really as going, as in that scenario, as going to servicearizona.com and looking up the information on how to properly do that for your new residents. So please uh, make sure you do that prior to October 11th, though, if you want to participate this November. With that, I look forward to joining you in another couple weeks as we'll have another edition of Senator Shope's Snapshot of the Week. <laughs>